The GTRE of India is planning to develop a new thrust vectoring nozzle TVN, after facing setbacks in its previous attempts. The GTRE has already commenced theoretical work on the new TVN and is exploring an inward-focused approach for the development of a thrust vectoring nozzle. The development of a thrust vectoring nozzle is a critical step forward for India's aerospace industry and will help India to reduce its reliance on foreign suppliers. India plans to build its own underwater test and tracking range, TTR, to test and develop underwater weapons. The TTR will be located on the eastern coast of India and will allow India to test its underwater weapons in a realistic environment, reduce its reliance on foreign testing facilities, and accelerate the development of new underwater weapons systems. It will also help ensure the effectiveness of underwater weapons in combat and boost confidence in India's underwater defense capabilities. India has asked Cummins, a US-based engine manufacturer, to locally manufacture new engines for India's indigenously developed Zorawar light tank. The move is a significant step forward in India's efforts to achieve self-reliance in defense production. The localization of engine production will reduce India's reliance on foreign suppliers, make defense production more affordable, and promote the development of domestic defense capabilities. Bharat Dynamics Limited BDL, has secured major orders for missiles and missile systems from the Indian Armed Forces, including UAV-launched precision-guided munitions, Astra Mk-1, anti-tank guided missiles, upgraded Akash SAM, and laser beam riding missile. India is set to purchase the CUAV system from Israel Aerospace Industries IAI, to bolster its border security against drones coming from Pakistan. This advanced system, capable of detecting drones at a range of up to 100 kilometers, utilizes IAI's ELM-2085 radar and a laser designator to neutralize drones by disrupting their electronic systems. This acquisition marks a significant step in India's efforts to enhance its military capabilities and safeguard its borders. Economic Explosives Limited EEL, is in talks with several countries to export its multi-mode hand grenades, MMHG. The company has received clearance from the Ministry of Defense, MOD, for the export of MMHG. The MMHG is a modular hand grenade with enhanced safety features and increased lethality. EEL's export efforts align with the Indian government's policy of promoting self-reliance in defense manufacturing. A consortium of companies, including Garden Reach Shipbuilders and Engineers, GRSE Limited, Shift Clean Energy, SeaTech Solutions International, and the American Bureau of Shipping, is collaborating to develop the E-Volt 50, a new electric tugboat designed to surpass conventional tugboats in efficiency and environmental friendliness.